I know a lot of you are struggling with practicing Judaism in isolation and maybe it's due to COVID restrictions or that you're living in a community void of Jewish life, whether you're an isolated Jew or just starting a conversion process. So I want to share this video inspired by a viewer with my tips on how to create, maintain, and deepen your connection while practicing alone. Wow. Yeah, swear to God, I'm with it. To give you a little background, I can honestly say that most of my Jewish life has been in isolation, so I do know quite a bit about this increasingly common struggle. For a long time, I wasn't connected to any particular Jewish community, and only months into finding one, I actually had to move away from within walking distance of my shul, which meant I could no longer join for services on Shabbat and Yom Tov, which are needless to say the most important moments to engage with other Jews. And I'm the only member of my family that identifies as Jewish, so I've definitely experienced various layers of being isolated in my observance. If you're feeling isolated, you are ironically in good company because more Jews today are finding themselves in the same boat even if they've previously led active and vibrant communal lives. The way I see isolation, provided that you're unable to move into a Jewish household, gain membership to a synagogue, or just move closer to a Jewish community, is that like everything in life, it's something we're meant to actually experience and definitely learn from. So my first bit of advice is to accept and embrace your isolation because for whatever reason, which you should do your best to understand, it's exactly the situation that Hashem has provided. There's a mystical concept very much embraced by the Brez of Hasidic movement that everything that happens is only for good. And being in isolation is no exception if we can only embrace the experience by acknowledging that it is divine will. So before we move on to ways you can embrace being alone, I want you to really accept and surrender to this temporary moment because like everything, it too will pass once we derive whatever benefit that Hashem has intended. That being said, my overall advice for dealing with isolation is to welcome the unique circumstances that allow you to develop a very personal Jewish experience. As a convert, people often remark how lonely it must be that I observe Shabbat by myself in addition to holidays like Pesach, but to be honest, I'm kind of loving it because I know that it's temporary and it's given me a chance to develop my own repertoire and have many intimate moments alone with Hashem. I can choose from or create whatever customs I prefer. I can linger endlessly as I pray if certain words catch my attention. And most importantly for me, I can really be in the moment. It's just uninhibited since no one's around me. Whether I feel like lifting my hands or breaking into an ugly cry, all those things you wouldn't likely do in a communal setting. So really enjoy this moment as a time to explore your spiritual experience, especially as it relates to prayer. Find ways to feel free and expansive without being self-conscious since you are, after all, alone by God's grace. Another challenging aspect of being Jewish in isolation is that we often miss out on the structure and the accountability that comes along with communal life. As Jews, we're used to davening in a minyan at set times throughout the day, and if we're being totally honest, the social accountability of being observant in front of others cannot be understated. So if you do find yourself feeling isolated in practice, my advice is to create habits and routines that allow you to reap the same structural benefits as practicing with others. I've shared a few videos on this channel showing a product activity chart I created to ensure I'm sticking with my routines, praying throughout the day, practicing Hebrew and sitting down to study, and whether you create a similar checklist or just stick to one daily habit as you get started, creating structure in isolation is absolutely critical. It will help you feel grounded, allow you to focus, and most importantly, it will ensure that you're always progressing and gradually growing closer to Hashem. One of the biggest lessons I've learned through many months of failure is that when it comes to Avodat Hashem, structure is critical. So if you don't listen to anything else in this video, take my advice here and be sure to create structure rather rather than wander aimlessly alone. So now that we've covered how to create and maintain your Jewish life while in isolation, I wanna leave you with one last tip on how you can actually take this time to deepen your connection. When I think of isolation, it's largely a positive feeling, not only because I'm the ultimate introvert, but also because I associate isolation with Hitpuradut. The word itself alludes to self-seclusion and refers to the Jewish practice of organic, unscripted prayer, experienced alone and often outdoors. You can check out my separate video on Hitpuradut if you're interested, but in a nutshell, it's how we can pray with without a sidur, without a minion, and with nothing whatsoever but our honest thoughts and feelings. Sadly, I think it's fair to say that most Jews forgo this time-honored practice which goes as far back as our patriarchs, and in my opinion, it's the single most important practice for connecting to our Creator. And although this applies to all moments of our lives, if you're a Jew in isolation, whether literally or figuratively, there's really no better time to work on the lifelong relationship you have with Hashem. By taking the opportunity to build a personal rapport, you'll undoubtedly find yourself closer, truer, and stronger when you do finally join or re-enter communal Jewish life. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful and Bezrat Hashem will all be together soon in Eretz Israel. Until then, I wish everyone well and as always, Shalom Aleichem.